Good evening and welcome to the energy segment, um, Dominic Honoji. Access to energy is a key pillar for human well-being, economic development and poverty alleviation. However, current energy systems are dominated by fossil fuels, which produce carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, the fundamental driver of climate change. To resolve this, many economies are investing in renewable and sustainable energy. A report by Rebecca Ewa. sector includes companies involved in the exploration and development of oil or gas reserves, oil and gas drilling and refining as well as petroleum industries. The energy industry also includes integrated power utility companies such as nuclear power, renewable energy, coal and traditional energy sources such as firewood. It has secondary sources such as electricity generation, electric power distribution and sales. sector has been an important driver of industrial growth over the past century, providing fuel to power the rest of the economy. The energy industry is also sensitive to political events, which historically have led to volatility or wild fluctuations in the price of oil. However, how investors choose to invest in the energy sector depends largely on their preferences and specific views about the growth and earnings of various companies. Also, energy prices along the earnings performance of energy producers are largely driven by the supply and demand for worldwide energy. For instance, oil and gas producers tend to perform well during periods of elevated oil and gas prices, whereas energy companies earn less when the price of energy commodities fall. Nonetheless, access to energy is a key pillar for human well-being, economic development and poverty alleviation. Ensuring everyone has sufficient access is an ongoing and pressing challenge for global development. Have the village available so that the village, the village like that, that have limited resources to carry out some gainful economic activity. We have to work with energy and the environment. We know the development of energy, whether we are talking about electricity, gas, or petroleum, the development of energy impacts negatively. 
energy systems also have important environmental impacts. Historical and current energy systems are dominated by fossil fuels, which produce carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, the fundamental driver of global climate change. If you remember, the UN Secretary General instituted the Sustainable Energy for All program, of which Ghana was a signatory. The, the office in Ghana is at the Energy Commission. And through the Sustainable Energy for All office and our development partners, we've been able to demonstrate the viability of using solar in particular to make commercial farming or large-scale farming profitable. There are a number of organizations or businesses that have employed that. There's a vegetable farmer in Keta. He uses wind energy and solar energy to produce his vegetables. As a result of the reduction in the cost of energy, he's able to produce enough and even export. Balancing the challenge between development and environment, therefore provides an ultimate goal of ensuring everyone has access to enough sustainable energy to maintain a high standard of living. As part of human adaptation to global warming, many economies are investing in renewable and sustainable energy. Renewable energy is one of the surest alternative source of energy that can help us overcome our energy challenges in the country as well as meet our climate change commitments. Now, as policy advisors to government, we have been working with government through the Ministry of Energy on a number of interventions to be able to promote renewable energy in Ghana. One of such interventions have been the Renewable Energy Fair where we bring policy makers, we bring people in academia, we also bring players within the industry, particularly financial institutions, for us to discuss some of the challenges and prospects and how to overcome the challenges within the renewable energy sector. And year in, year out, as we keep on having the fair, we keep having a number of people, in fact, the number of service providers in the sector keep increasing as a result of the increased awareness through the fair. We also advise government in a number of ways. You know, reports on regulation and the complaints or the concerns that we get from the regulated entities. Concerns like there aren't enough incentives within the renewable energy industry. Some would want the tax waivers to go beyond just the solar panels. They would want tax waivers on every component in the renewable energy sector so that they will be able you know to deploy more and tax waivers will help reduce the cost of such systems in the country and some individuals who have been able to justify or prove that they are indeed going to deploy every component for renewable energy purposes some have been able to get some tax waivers others have not yet been but many of these business people are just calling for a flat waiver on these systems and we support that because we believe that would actually help drive down the cost of solar systems or renewable energy systems and hence help more people to adapt to solar energy best practices. Many investors also believe renewable and alternative energy sources will play an important role in the future and are channeling resources there.
it is now time for the private sector to get into the industry and then help the industry thrive. In, having said that, you know, government has time and time again, I've heard the Minister of Agri time and time again, I've heard the Vice President time and time again talked about their commitment, both the NDC government and the MPP government, their commitment in investing or creating an enabling environment for private sector to invest in renewable energy for irrigation to enable farmers farm all year round. So I think there's enough commitment from the statements government have made. In the long term, the benefits of installing a, a renewable energy system in your home, not just only solar, but also something like a biodigester, the benefits far outweighs the cost. As the years go by, the cost of components of renewable energy systems keep reducing. For such a homeowner, I will tell the person any investment into such a system is a worthwhile investment and within five or even four years you'll be able to reap your returns on your investment indeed if we are to meet the global climate targets and avoid dangerous climate change the world needs a significant unconcerted transition into its energy sources rebecca iwa reporting Thank you.